Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Tankamani, an integration technical architect. First of all, apologies for not posting any videos for the past three weeks. Uh, since I have been very busy in my newly allocated project, uh, I was focusing on that and uh, I'll ensure that I'll be posting videos quite often from now on. So in the last couple of weeks, I happened to interview uh, many members uh, for our uh, a new project requirements. Uh, however, uh, uh, when we talk about all the topics, uh, um, everyone is comfortable, but uh, the moment we talk about group by, uh, there was uh, some uh, uncomfort uh, felt uh, to explain about the group by uh, and its actual use cases. So I thought I can help out uh, by deep diving this complex uh, group by scenario and uh, I will give a demo so that uh, uh, the Mule 4 members are confident uh, while well, we are using group by and not only we understand the technical uh, meaning of group by which everybody knows by going through uh, Google or in general we know uh, group by concept but after grouping um, we need to understand the actual use case and the benefits of group by and then apply uh, accordingly wherever necessary so that's why I am going to deep dive into group by with the specific and complex examples let's get started First, let's discuss about uh, what we are going to do with the group by. So I'm going to take a simple example, uh, employee example, and uh, where the employee's example contain uh, a canonical form of employee. So uh, you all know what the canonical form is, uh, where the XML contains uh, uh, details individually without any grouping or uh, without any aggregation. So each and every employee details are found independently uh, as an entity. So for example, here under employees, you have uh, uh, employee XML. And uh, it simply has uh, several fields like first name, last name, designation, department, and country. And uh, employee has an attribute ID. So uh, you can see that there are several different employees without any aggregation, which means uh, it's a canonical form sir so each and every employee's details are given uh, simply one by one uh, without any ordering or uh, without any significance of uh, uh, being grouped already so um, what we are going to do with this uh, xml is to deal with individual employee but uh, not as is because we know how to uh, iterate them one by one uh, by means of uh, uh, these lists which we already know but uh, we want to group it uh, uh, group these individual employees or uh, in general whenever you see XML with a canonical form normally all the XML inputs are uh, uh, accepted in the form of canonical because nobody provides the uh, XML normally in a grouping so when you get such a um, uh, group of uh, data for example uh, you want to group the orders uh, by the delivery date or you want to group the orders based on the priority or you want to group the um, um, e-commerce orders uh, by means of uh, uh, some aggregation so that you can process them in batches on those groups. So this is the use case that we are going to do and uh, so uh, it should have some meaning when we want to group it. So you group it only when you process them as a group not as an individual employee because if you want to um, process individual entity you can simply use uh, payload map and then it's going to process and iterate everything so um, we are going to discuss about how to process those group uh, in the data view and I'm going to show you after grouping how the XML looks like and uh, we need to do uh, certain uh, technical aspects on the group so that you can uh, you can process them one by one under the group. So let's get into the demo right away. So I've created a simple Mule 4 flow and uh, I have introduced a HTTP listener and I have introduced a data view. And uh, first, uh, before we start, we are going to uh, set the metadata as usual. So because metadata makes our life easy when we want to do this uh, data view. So, uh, um, set the metadata and then let's add and let's say uh, employee 
and we will choose XML and we will choose example and uh, we will choose all files I have a txt file where the XML is available so we uh, the mule 4 shows automatically the employees root tag under which uh, individual employee details are available so we are selecting that so uh, once selected it's going to appear uh, uh, the selected data type under the metadata and uh, then we are going to start the data view so here is the uh, example so first always it's better to start with the uh, output with the exact payload as uh, given as input so that's the best uh, way to start so let's do that so let's uh, choose JSON so once selected uh, with the payload dot employees just I'm, I'm simply uh, trying to create the same input payload into the output payload but uh, instead of XML I have chosen JSON so you can see here uh, uh, the same data uh, that appears uh, uh, as per the input for example uh, here is the first name last name designation it starts with Sachin, Rahul, Dravid and Vishwanathan Anand and you can see the same uh, details appear here now let's start uh, the grouping uh, stuff we discussed about so uh, I'm going to iterate uh, the list when you look at it uh, the employees root tag contains individual employee so that is what we are going to iterate so so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, put it under employee and uh, we are going to iterate employees dot star employee so this is what we are going to uh, iterate and first let's iterate individually and then let's go for the grouping so map data index so since we have used metadata uh, it's automatically giving uh, first name last name so let's choose first name and uh, department uh, so uh, we have a department uh, also chosen so let's see so this is the output so we are iterating one by one which is uh, uh, already known to everybody and uh, I think uh, all the uh, members are familiar with this so now we are going to do this uh, grouping so let's remove all this and let's say group by dollar dot uh, um, department dot name so you can see here once uh, we apply group by uh, the JSON uh, becomes peculiar let's analyze uh, how the JSON looks like now you can see here uh, let's choose uh, language JSON you can see here uh, there is a tag that's created or, uh, automatically uh, the JSON field with the name of uh, a department and uh, uh, so you can see here it, it prepared a, a list of employees under this department so that's how the grouping works and under this cricket uh, and it's going to list out all the employees under this particular department and software and these departments so this is how this grouped and you need to know I mean the reason for showing this uh, outcome is to get familiar with the how actually the MuleSoft prepares uh, uh, this uh, uh, result based on the data we've grouping only then we will be able to do some meaningful operations since this is a field which we don't know because uh, the input uh, uh, contains uh, several combinations uh, which we might not know so we cannot iterate it by using this uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, field because this comes as a field name so before even we know uh, what departments or what data is going to come in the input XML we cannot uh, iterate based on these predefined uh, uh, 
department. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use uh, pluck and we are going to say dollar. So the plug means, you know uh, what the plug is, so uh, uh, when the plant contains uh, uh, flour on the, uh, on the plant, uh, it's not individual because uh, it's available in the branches. So you, you, if you plug those flowers and then they come as an individual. So you can either plug by key or by values. Suppose I'm, I'm plugging by means of this key which is a department so that's why it shows all the employees under the particular department and instead I can also plug by means of these values um, um, I mean uh, the, the group uh, values or the uh, field names because uh, uniquely it appears like uh, um, all the departments are coming here so you can take this uh, in whatever way uh, you want and uh, so we are going to use only this plug because we need uh, values and employees which we are going to uh, process them one by one so we need it so uh, now we are going to see how to process this uh, group now let's apply some meaningful process uh, and uh, the the processing example should demonstrate uh, the actual purpose of grouping so whenever we want to group it, uh, uh, say for example, you want to group, uh, hey, all the chess players go this side and all the cricket players go this side. So you want to manage them by separate groups. Say uh, you are interested to find in this uh, uh, context uh, of uh, data weave, uh, you will be interested to find the count of each group or uh, uh, after grouping, you want to order them, uh, say, for example, um, high priority first and low priority last so or cricket first chess next and the software uh, last so you, you want to do some meaningful operations on those individual groups that's what we are going to see so once we pluck uh, we have an individual value either as a key or as a value now we have taken a value and uh, let me explain this pluck operation once again because pluck is the most critical uh, thing to understand here before you start performing the operations on the content so either you can plug this key so by plugging this key value you can plug out uh, uh, chess cricket software and manufacturing which is the topic under which we grouped it that's what is the key and the value will be the employees coming under uh, each group so you can either plug by uh, value or plug by uh, key so we don't need to uh, achieve anything when we want to plug it by key because we want all the values under the uh, individual section so we will iterate it now so we will say data index and we are going to iterate uh, those uh, uh, groups so first I want to know about the department is so department is uh, we say data and you have it so under each group the uh, department is going to be identical to all so that you can uh, uh, select any one so data dot uh, uh, department uh, dot name you can choose and uh, so under the group you want to find out how many employees are there in each group so that we can say by count and we can say we can use size of operator of uh, uh, data so this data is the list that contains uh, employees of each group and uh, so you want to display the employees and uh, which are actual data itself so let's preview that and now you can see um, the department is coming appearing twice because uh, um, for each employee uh, the plugged uh, department is uh, available here but you don't want all this but you want to simplify by choosing the uh, first element so that you don't need to say um, I mean if there are three people uh, and you are going to see them and ask them hey which department you are yeah, then they are going to say chess they are not going to say 
chess department, chess department and chess department. So that's why we are choosing any one. So just apply the practical uh, meaning into this uh, uh, diet industry, then everything is uh, becoming simple. So we choose uh, a department name and we have chosen this uh, size and we counted uh, uh, under every group and then we listed actual employees under which. To add more meaning to it, uh, after grouping, you want to order by uh, size of uh, um, dollar. So uh, we are making some meaningful, you can, I will copy paste this uh, uh, JSON here for your reference. See now, um, we, we ordered it, we made some sense, for example, according to the priority, see, suppose you have the uh, e-commerce orders coming in the batch of uh, say 100 orders you want to group them based on the uh, delivery date so that you focus on the earliest delivery date first and then you don't care about the next days that you can take care the next day so similarly to demonstrate that I have given some ordering based on the priority so here count is a priority so least number of uh, the batch contains the least number can be serviced first so that they don't need to wait long. So I am just uh, uh, ordering it out in the increasing order of count. So now we have only one employee. The next contains two, two employees under chess department and uh, two employees under cricket department and under software we have uh, uh, three employees. So this is to, this uh, brings uh, uh, some meaning. Uh, so uh, by now you know what the department is I mean uh, this makes the most relevant uh, uh, outcome because you want to know what department after uh, grouping all of them and because you want to know how many departments are there and uh, number of employees uh, uh, count under the each group and the actual details so now if you further want to uh, manipulate or process those individual uh, grouped employees then you can again iterate through map uh, on this because you can see here these uh, list is again is a list which you can iterate and manipulate based on those uh, given requirements so in this video we have seen uh, not just a theoretical explanation of uh, group by and we have also seen the meaning and we have also applied uh, based on the actual use case and we have understood how um, a mule 4 treats uh, database group by uh, by listing out the uh, group by immediate response and then uh, processing on that so uh, whenever you explore any topic uh, you run on a debug mode and find out uh, the rec uh, the response in each step and then take decision uh, so that uh, the development uh, and design uh, will be very easy when you understand in depth the meaning of this uh, uh, features so that's it in this video and thanks for uh, watching this video and uh, if you felt this is very useful and liked it uh, hit thumbs up and i will see you in uh, another video another interesting video soon bye